Um, so that must have been, was that David that did that? It broke down the high place of the gate? I don't know. I bet it was. And when the king comes to visit the city, he wants to meet people. In many cases, remember, the gate is the administration center, which is why I'm standing on the king's throne. The king's throne. Okay, the king's diet, actually. See, I'm sitting over here. You know, hail. Oh, yeah. How do we know this is the throne? See these wood thingamajigs right here? Four pillars that would have held up the poles, that would have held up an awning that is a symbol of royalty. That's why a Jewish wedding takes place underneath a canopy. I don't know if you've ever seen a Jewish wedding. Four people hold up a canopy, and the actual ceremony takes place underneath the canopy because they want her to be royalty at least one day in her life. Oh. Us, us. Okay, let's say us. Okay, we're we're both supposed to be royalty, but it's more, it's mainly for her. And then went Boaz up to the date, and he took ten Sometimes, men of, yeah. uh, of the elders. Of but the I brought you all the way up here not because of this, which is interesting, but because of this. So who was the king that we're talking about here? Anything. Anything. Oh, wow. You know, I don't know about you. I didn't put them in Okay, there's a couple of interesting things here. For instance, the division between the kingdom of Judea and the kingdom of Israel. See what I'm looking at? Yeah. But this is very interesting. What's this? Jordan. No, this is the coast. The Gaza. Okay, Gaza. this is the Philistine territory. Yeah. Basically, the kingdom, and we should have been extended all the way to here. Okay, this is, has been Philistine territory for a long time. But the main reason I'm standing here, again, here's the gate, here's the whole story, and things that we've talked about. <coughs> But the main reason I'm standing here is because of this. This is called the Dan Stila, or the Dan Stila. Okay, remember the argument between the minimalists and the maximalists we keep on talking about? Yeah. One of the main arguments by the minimalists is this guy David and this guy Solomon makes a big balagan in the Bible, but we have found no evidence of the existence of King David. Maybe David was just like King Arthur. I mean, you know, you know, there was a guy named Arturus somewhere in England, and the whole story of Arthur might be loosely based on somebody who actually lived. But you know, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round mm -hmm. Table is all fiction. Mm -hmm. 
It's not real. It didn't really happen. A lot of people say the whole story of David was fiction. Maybe it was just, you know, people actually. What they found here, literally right here, when they were excavating this gate, was a piece of a very old Aramaic inscription, an ancient Aramaic, which is close to Hebrew, which basically says that the king of Damascus conquered the city of Dan from a descendant of the house of David. It is the first archaeological mention of David. King David and the house of David. But it also means a lot more because it's 250 years after the time of David. Which means 250 years after David is dead, people are using his name for bragging rights. Meaning he not only was a king, but he must have been as important and as amazing that actually his name is being used to show that I've stepped on one of the house of David. 250 years after he's already dead, which proves that David existed, but also proved his importance. And this is the David Stila, David Stella. They found it right here, literally right here. Okay, it is now in the museum in Jerusalem. We can see it in Jerusalem. And this is my name in ancient Aramaic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, here's something interesting, okay? Maybe something that they didn't know. Something interesting about the name David, because Anybody seen the Star of David? Yes. Why the Star of David? It, it was not used, by the way, by David. David did not have a Star of David on his shield. Okay? But why the Star of David? Because the name David actually has three letters in it. Okay? The D, the vowel, and the D. It starts with the D and ends with the D. Okay? Um, a, B, C, D. In Greek, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Delta. In ancient Hebrew, ancient Greek, the letter D is a triangle. Okay, so the name David is basically two triangles. Put one on top of the other, you get the Star of David. Very interesting. The sign down there says it broke down the walls. Is that where you No, the Aramaic king who broke down the walls and actually conquered the city. So the David Stilla is one of the most important pieces in this argument between the minimalist and the maximalist. And it was found literally right here. Wow. What year did they find it? I don't remember. But Sorry. No, it should be on the plaque tomorrow. <laughs> don't get a lie. I haven't done the dating thing since the late... But in Jerusalem, in, the we museum can see it. Say. Yeah.